Yo, what's up, everybody? Start a new series here. We are going to dive into Control. I picked up the Ultimate Edition probably around 2020, but I was too distracted with other titles to play it then, so I figured what better time to try it out than now. Um, my first chance at trying to record this was a total flop. I screwed up with some of the video settings or output settings in OBS and the gameplay looked like crap. So I figured scrap that and start anew. So uh, the most, the farthest I got, uh, whether you're familiar with the game or not, was to the Tomasi boss fight and then I stopped there. But uh, we're going to, we're going to new game it up. We're going to wash away what uh, what existed and and give it a go. I meant to record this and have it up last week, but I got a little busy. You know, this life happens. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. Me too. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. Same. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. My childhood days. We stare the Federal at it Bureau and we of think Control. That's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous. I believe person. that's the either the man like or movie, a picture of the voice actor from the, the old Max Payne movie. games. I can't remember that fact the correctly. Picture. It's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. Bang. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. It's because we can't handle the truth. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel if only you had a clue how much that resonated with the game sometimes, itself. Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out. And try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Welcome to your first Why day on the job. Here? We are going to find out, aren't we? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Uh, what we got? Oh, wrong one. Correspondence. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, Anything smart, even smart people. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. In other words, be a snitch. 
And that's the way we need to go. What do you got in here? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. That's how you know shit's getting real. Upwards and onwards, right? And another room with more files. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. As Shia LaBeouf once said, don't let your dreams be dreams. Or something along those lines. Bureau expenditures. Expenditure summary, executive sector, Q2, staffing, surveillance, blank, data center initiative, construction, blank, blank, minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, blank, mold removal, HQ livability costs, for cost breakdown, spreadsheet, see page five for five year comparison chart, see page nine. Let's move. Looks like a young K. Oh, it's a scientist. I was gonna say a young KFC general, the colonel. Uh, this way. Nothing in the bathroom. At least someone had the decency to flush. Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain. It's a boring, boring package snacks, including, but not limited to. Pistachios, potato chips, and probably some kind of uh, protein, candy bars. Yep. More boring room meeting stuff. It's a security order, and most of it's blanked out. Shoot to kill. Good luck. Got it. I think that's it for this room. Into the dark room we go. With R4 reports reminder. What's in that? Federal Bureau of Control. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request from R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, You'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Well, being that the whole place is on lockdown, we'll see how... Uh, that plays out. Hello? Hello? Anything in here? Nope. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. Sure. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. The janitor's Thanks. assistant. Doesn't sound like I get paid guy. much. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. Sure, we'll go with that. Don't Employee recommendation. You are relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. I like his responses to her internal monologue. With that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. He's like, yeah, whatever. And once you look at that, Ati's picture is now the elevator. And the wet floor sign on the wet carpet just got knocked over. 
My bad. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I like the creepy mystery vibes this game gives off. You almost feel uh, you there for a uncomfortable with everything that's you going on. It's on my mind. It's uh, like unsettling. My brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Thief. Time to find her brother. I broke in. Approved terminology reminder. I want to read that reminder. Reminder, redrafting any public facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Word phrase to use in the service of his or her country, regret, pride, or proud, read that in reverse, will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. Oh, I thought the... I thought the coffee machine was levitating at first. I was going to be like, uh... Can you pour me a cup? Ooh, more dark rooms to go into. Really, I'm just looking for more files and prestigious pict uh, pictures of the director. Trench, do not disturb. Open. Not official. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all appointments for the day or the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. <sighs> Bang. Somebody's dead. Um, I'm here for my job interview. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Something's outside. I was coming here a mistake. I mean, there's really only two ways to go at this point. Do you just leave? Or do you, uh, do you figure out what happened? Because she's already talking to herself slash uh, uh, in a spirit or, or apparition or higher calling. As I stand on his dead corpse. Give me that gun. This is one hell of an application interview. Can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, 
you must choose to be the chosen one. Where am I? I have like a uh, real comfortable office space to work out of. At. It's like a really scary platformy version of Mario. Where it almost feels like she's never going to make her jump. She just does. And she also wields the force. And on top of the wielding the force, you get a gun. Congratulations, you're hired. Okay. Now I have a gun. Fire your service weapon. I don't know if headshots do uh, more damage or less, but... This service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Eesh. Hey, back off. Oof, if they were hiring me based on shot accuracy, I'd be fired. Oh, you behind me just smacking me the whole time? Screw you, guy. Who's shooting? Oh. Dag, you're it. I win. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Okay. You, we wield the gun. You. The board appoints you. Congratulations, Director. You're hired. You're asking for a lot, sir. You just killed you yourself. Hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Talk about a change in mindset. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Your, yeah, depending on your back and forth monologue with yourself, this would be terrifying. I'd be like, uh, you guys, um, we didn't even discuss pay yet. You can't let this happen. 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 It's like a battle of self. Intense? Horror. Yeah, that too. Ah! Don't shoot me! I work here! You're supposed to be security for me! Hey, look at that! They got a, they got a good picture of me. I didn't give it to them though. The hotline, the hotline bling. Uh huh. Reach the hotline. If you say so. Don't like. Uh, I don't think security personnel likes me though. I think guys, if you guys gave me a badge, security wouldn't shoot me. Oh, 
Ooh, something's in here. FPC reminder. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Okay. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Gotcha. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. What if the object kills me? If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome. Look at that. Another good shot of me. What you doing, guy? Get our solid snake run on. Jam out to some yell dead cell from Metal Gear Solid 2. What's in here? A danger. The central executive. I'm supposed to go there? But there's also a safe room. So. Let's see what's in there. Um, I was told to put myself in here because I'm an object of power. Uh, personal mod energy something. Uh, what did I get? A personal mod. Energy recovery speed or more energy. Maybe the recovery speed. Halt who goes there. Proceed further into the bureau. I'm going to look for more, uh, more correspondent papers. Anything over here? No. Checked over there already. I came from that way. Was there anything here? Just to be safe? No one's taking a shit? Okay. I already heard that. Okay. On to the scary room we go. Nope, nope not that way. This way. Or that, or I'm just getting myself lost. How about that? Yeah, I came. Oh. Is it this door? Nope, that's the bathroom. It's to the left of the shelter. I guess that's not a safe room after all. Hissing sound that tried to evade the hiss. earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our. Babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. She like goes back and forth, still between talking to herself. It's interesting. Recordings, more correspondence papers. For Marshall's eyes only, Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE and Dula, Duluth, Duluth wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate those field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby? Me. Before I got my job. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. Therefore, perform the gunner's psych psychological assessment. 
If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Terminate event immediately. <laughs> There's no such thing as too suspicious. And dinner reservations. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Uh, I skipped a whole line. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Someone doesn't remember someone's birthday. A little too busy, huh? What's in here? More stuff? Some jams. Jams and more jams. It's perfect, uh, fight riff music. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Just leave it on. Let's F some stuff up. Hello? Jump down. Hey, guys. How did that not do anything? Uh, oh, a weapon. A material. Undefined reading. Ah, uh, no. That was definitely a grenade. This is the boss. I tried to force push him to see if it would do anything. I see you back there. Dead. More personal mods and stuffs. There's a weapon mod. Spreading. Alright. Time to clean some things. We're gonna find out. Bam! One, what was once broken has been restored anew. Ma'am, you can stand up now. Shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Interact with cleanse control points to fully restore health on death. Jesse will start at the control point. Okay, just don't die. How about that? Uh, we had weapon mods that I wanted to look at. Materials. I don't want to read collectibles right now. Uh, personal mods. For health. Do I want health or energy? Oh, let's do health. And weapon armor damage. Damage against enemy armor plus 37%. I'll take it. Can't go in there. Guess we can see who's locked up in here. We saw you. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Jones' assistant. My, My turn. turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. Wish I should have lied. Oh, nah, I told the truth. You're I'm the director. director. Oh, she knows, anyways. Word spreads fast. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Hi. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the She's like, hiss sure. can infiltrate the building okay. without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You didn't ask to be pulled into this. And that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, or no longer with us. How about that? This whole situation is just a lot. Bizarre. Trench is dead. Shot. Himself. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? It's a service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. 
It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point and push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? Yeah, I just opened the door. I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> cool guy. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. That I do. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Which is? If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her. But I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. Who is you? We can try it together. Or this other piece of... Okay. Jess that me? Jess is talking to. We did it before. Push the hiss out. Wouldn't it be cool to just think up a name for something and then the world calls it that? I can save you. Maybe? Or not. Ugh. She's dead. Um, I killed Regina on accident. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I sorry. My first order is being the director and I've already killed someone. Was this a haunted jukebox? Plays um haunted stripper we hop haunted stripper music. Goodbye jukebox. Mm, where'd she say meter at? I forgot. Speak with Emily Pope in the executive boardroom. Well, it's not the sector elevator, that's for sure. No fits, except the civilian one. And, oh, okay, she's literally standing right there. Hey, I killed someone. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, director. Was it? <laughs> Jesse. I'm going to tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. 17 years Where is ago. Ordinary at? The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's no. enough. Time. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. You guys took my brother. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at ground zero as a child? Hope knows too much already. One of the big ones. And before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Is that the doctor? I think Dr. Darling? He's coming or suspected came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost or... The dead guy on the floor. He mentioned something called the hotline. I said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? 
It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Oh, I will. They call me the director. But that's not me. It's really I'm just the Pope director. that calls her the director so I'm far. Leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Looks comfortable. If you put some Google eyes on it, it would look like the phone that the mayor would use in the Powerpuff Girls. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. Can I stand on the table? The comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Okay. I'll follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. What I get? House me house memory. Um I got more mods. I think I like the one I have. Oops. Um Energy, health recovery per element pickup, health, energy. What did I have? More health? Let's do more health. Off we go. Off to the races. There's like weird, I want to save my brother, Jess. And then there's like this weird, I want to be a part of the Federal Bureau of Control slash creepy SCP inspired stuff, Jess. Open the map. There it is again. Our welcome message. This place is a mess. Wait, what's over there? More items? More house memories. And a locked door. You want this to be true? We stand around you while you dream. That's creepy. Can you not? Creepy Tomasi. Hey. Put me through the door. Or the window. Not nice. You are also shooting me through the window. Where'd you go? Alright. Trying to pick stuff up, thank you. Sorry, those files run away. Headshot boost. Okay, so headshots do make a difference. Correspondence travel costs. What's that look like? It's a weekly report. Week 83 report. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out It's a food chain. Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Accommodations, 831.29. Meals, 714.84. Gasoline 295 12 and a mini bar for 30 13 61 because you've got to get your you gotta get your drinks in after a long day. 
I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again requested that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. Uh, asterisk. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Hence the mini bar cost, right? Okay. Eyelash stabbing me in my face. Can't go that way yet. That's gonna burn. Who else is here to shoot me? Hot shot. Take that. As I almost blow myself up. Did you guys drop any health? Because I'm stupid and almost killed myself. Ooh, a shelter. Uh, can I go in here? Nope. Case files, Havana summary. I'll read that later. If they're not too long or have a bunch of information omitted, I'll probably try to include reading them as I pick them up. And then I'll look through some when I'm not uh, recording. Nothing like finding a classified file in the bathroom floor. Disgusting. And then I'm, I'm assuming that's like creepy Tomasi talking? Another creepy room. Man, this is wonderful that I have eyelash trying to kill me. Oops. Uh, more material. Whoa, I just, uh, <laughs> walked through the door. That might be a ghost. I think I need to go that way, but I came from the top, right? What's the map say? Oh, wait, what? How come, like, the... Sometimes the subtitles show up for him and sometimes they don't. I'm too dedicated to stop playing to address this eyelash that's in my eye, but we're gonna keep it rolling. Okay, yes, I was up here. I need to go back down to the, the other creepy room. Not the shelter, though, because it's going to kill me. That was a bathroom. No, not this way, not this way. Into dead letters. The mail room. Or close, leading to the, the mail room. Hello? Who goes there? Besides the jams. And this jank ass computer setup. What? I was telling the truth. You don't like it. Build something new. There's an item back here. It's a. Energy recovery personal mod and singing fish and this guy This dead guy. I don't have that much health. I should probably be careful Especially since I damn near got myself blown up 
Correspondence Trench. Dead letter approved. Rest in peace, Trench. Uh, hi. Oh, God, you guys are gonna kill me. They more than tried, they did. I blame it on my eyelash that's, uh, in my eye. Pure disappointment. Who dies to non-boss enemies? The person that tried to blow himself up, that's who. It was me. As we wait to load back in. Oh, thanks guys for... Oh yeah, because when you die, you start back from the point you cleansed, right? Was it this way? Nope. Which way am I going again? I really got myself turned around here. It wasn't through there. It wasn't through the boardroom. It was through here? Yes. There it is again. There's More creepy Tomasi. Do I have to fight everyone again? Do I just get a clean sprint through here? That'd be great. Alright. Let's not die. Let's try this again with a little bit more pizzazz this time. It's flare. And no death, preferably. As I knock stuff over. Okay, where are you guys spawning from? Dead. Someone up here with me? Nope, they're just all running down. Hi guys. Eh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot. I said don't shoot. If I crouch, yes. God, I took a lot of damage still. Just standing there like an idiot getting shot to death. Gotta remember that crouching is a thing in this game. And that I am not invincible. It's a room I can't go into. Can't go in there either. I think I collected everything I needed to though. I'm gonna jump down like a maniac. Sir, I've heard of whispering. Um, could you use your inside voice? Dead. And another point to cleanse. Bam! Wow, I died right before I cleansed this point. Good job. Put it back. Imagine if cleaning your room was that easy. Another locked door. Communications department, fast traveling between cleansed points, and a little bit of TV time. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Oof. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. I mean, can't hold much else. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we launched maybe three dozen pencils. That's probably why that paper in the beginning said no number two pencils. It's a dangerous floppy disk. Anything else up here? 
We're on the right track. Anything else? Up? Oh, there's files. Machine God. I'm pretty sure we came through that door. Let's read that before I go through here. Let's see. Uh, the Trench Dead Letter Approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times. Gathered by the Postal Service is undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but events that, but even the erroneous ones allow us to insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. An unstable area notice. Due to the recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green is stable. Yellow is a low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red is danger. Frequent unanticipated building shifts. Frequent. Hmm. Well, let's go into the communications department and our umpteenth bathroom. It's clean at least. Oh, wow. The by person that just got popped. And another shelter containing me breaking stuff. More materials, more files. Book Club Samson. Um, before we go into the room where the guard just got murdered, let's go. Wasn't there stairs? Do I want to go in the room first? Or do I want to go up the stairs? You know, we're going up the stairs. Let's see what's up here. Me breaking more stuff and probably more materials. Oh no, it's a weapon mod. Consecutive kills boost. What did I have currently? I had the weapon armor damage. I'll probably leave that for now. Let's go see what's in here. An object of power. Oof. Hi. Where am I supposed to go again? E. Don't hit me. You're so dangerous. More stuff. More material. And a dangerous, like, floaty thing that keeps throwing stuff. And me running across the way for my wife. Locked door. Stairs. Danger. Oh, I just have to get close, don't I? It's the dangerous floppy disk. The one you're not supposed to have number two pencils in the building for. Hey, what's up, guy? I shall wield the 80 kilobyte floppy. Floppy disk nuke can be bound to gain, launch telekinesis. Teach us to believe, Director. It's hard Use to the force. When I'm here, it's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? Sure, let's go with that. Their director. I'm no one's director. I'm the director. Oh, don't mind me, just flinging shit around. Jump. 
jumping around for my life. Get out the way. Oh, I wait for my bar to refill. Throw more stuff. I'd throw something at you, but I didn't have any more energy. But I've got enough energy to throw stuff at you. Bam! Dunked on. You're dead. You're dead. So the pyramid people don't like the hiss. Interesting. It's now bound delivered. The his antagonist is seeking our astral plane. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Right? This will help me Table scraps. Take that, you bastard. Excuse me, I need to borrow this. Bam! Hey, knock it off. Uh -huh. You dead? Yeah, you dead. More materials. Alt who goes there. A dead person. Hiss ranger and a hiss demolition expert. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. Uh huh. You're in the way, trying to enter the room to get an item and mess up everyone's files or time punches. Okay, nothing else in here, but there's creepy Tomasi talking again and more stuff. Correspondent Tomasi Willow AWE outcome and materials. I think we got everything in here. Oh, let's see. Yep, we're gonna go with that. To the mail room, we go. Um. I got me a clearance pass. And I've also claimed a control point. Didn't even have to do any cleansing. But I am going to do some more exploring. Ooh, two clearance level one passes. Thank you. America Overnight. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. That's a one hell of a word. So Dr. Quincy Reagan tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. Hey, at least they're into cons. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that 
years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. How come they didn't check there sooner? I don't doubt it. I've heard enough. There's a shelter to enter. That's got you guessed it. More items. And more funky music. And a really nice toilet hidden by cabinets. Uh, well, that sounds sounds horrible, honestly. There you have it, listeners. Careful where you stay the night at. There may be a dead body. Ha! Ah, I can enter here now. So, uh, what's going on, guys? How do you get... I don't think I can come in here, though. Um... What's making this room so nasty? Yeah, we can't go in there right now, I don't think. That's unfortunate. Fire extinguisher? Will you let me in the nasty room? Or make things worse. I guess we'll come back. If I remember to come back here. Wait, what's that? Where does that lead to? Does that lead to somewhere? Besides someone shooting me? Thanks, guys. Oh. Dead. Take that. Oh, I missed. Lord. Ah. Ah. Dead. Who are you? They killed him before I even had the chance to throw it. E. Give me this. Give me that. What else can I throw at him? Give me computer. You are strong, sir. And persistent. Dead. And I got a bunch of stuff. Is that the only purpose of this room? I keep doing that. I got more materials and a file that I'll read later. Okay, it was fun. Goodbye. I don't think anything... Oh, yeah. There's more materials in the radio that I don't want to listen to. And the shelter already came out of... And this control point that's mine now. I already went in there. I believe I came from that way. So let's go in here. Um, I have a clearance level 1 pass. If it isn't our good friend Tomasi. Crawling his way out of trouble. Throwing stuff at us. Get out of here. Sir, if you come down, I'd like to have a word.
And just like that, Tomasi is gone. He also took his shirt off. And didn't even bother to tie it around I his waist. Have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Hotline chamber of secrets. I have to go up. Any items of worth to check out? That's the outside area we were at. I'm sure, we can make a, a quick roundabout and use my clearance pass to open doors. This is just to get back to where I was, right? I believe so. Yeah, yep, we were there. Nothing. No files, no items, a dead a dead guy. Another door. Another recording. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds that all the guy didn't show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? Okay. Someone had a meltdown. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. It's the hiss got him. Rest in peace, Tomasi. As I break more stuff. Launch efficiency. All right, into the hotline chamber we go. The hotline can't be far now. I do that every time. More materials. The hotline chamber. Okay, go away. Butt supplement. Nothing like those butt supplements. Hotline security log. Here I come, hotline. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. That was in one of the files. Dream logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Foreshadowing. Notice, Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point, Catalyst, Light Switch. The Law of Three applies. Ritual attunement required, Agent must orient and anchor motel to their personal frequencies. Hmm. Two. Whoa. Interesting. Have been here before? Huh. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Well, there's, this is the door he was talking about. But they all have marks. Uh... Hello. Hello. Room service. Here? I would like one room, please. Or a key to it. Ranger naturalist service. And some nasty snacks. And a room with no one in it. 226. Uh, I can't go into any of those. What do I do here? Traverse the Ocean View Motel. I did, but no one wants to answer. 
but they talked about a rule of three. Does that open stuff? I can't go outside. I can't get any snacks. I can't get any room service. Um, I work here now. This is my uh, second job. I'm a director during the weekday. And uh, I run a motel in the evening. I can't open any of the doors. And now I am lost on what to do. There's also only one room open. Do I just start? Oh, I can't break anything. I lost my force powers. There's something in here that I'm missing. He said a door with a black pyramid on it. Am I missing the point here? Do I go back out? Uh, did that do anything? No, I don't understand. One. Okay, back here. Okay, that doesn't help. Director use only. Disregard of this policy may result in fatal psychic trauma. So literally no one else can use this phone. That's creepy. Um, back again. Waiting for service. You guys said start doing things in three or some rule of three or law of three. And none of the doors are open. There's only one room open and there's nothing in it. You told me this was the door, sir. And I can't interact with any of these other doors. Hmm, am I missing something? I came from that way. I can't walk out or I'm gonna die. Signs are the same. I can't open the door still. Talk about being lost with no direction. There's no items I can pick up. Self-service vending machine for all your needs. The vending machine company. Oh, what a wonderful name. I don't know what to do. Except jump on the bed. And nothing else is open. And I can't go in any other rooms. I've rang this bell like five billion times. Where's Ati when you need him? I can't ring the bell from this side. I also can't use this typewriter like a Resident Evil game. Ring it three times, does that mean anything? Can't interact, can't interact, can't interact, can't interact. No. No. Okay, what if I ring it like twice? One, two, does that change anything in here? Where's that door? Nothing. I am lost. I don't know what to do. Bring it a third time and be lost. I'm just gonna keep pulling this to death. I come here and don't have my gun or my powers. I can't get into the room he's talked about. 
I can jump over counters though and ring a stupid bell. Uh, wasn't this closed last time? Or no, maybe this is the same room that I was going into. Well, I don't know what to do. There's nowhere else to traverse at this place. No keys. This is glowing, but then it goes away. I can't go in there still. That does nothing. I'm going to ring it and run down every time. No open doors. Hello? Anything? Whoa. How did I not catch that? The bell switches the doors. Look at that. There's a key. The key has a black pyramid on it. Huh. Context clues. What's in the middle room? Or maybe... Okay, I think this is the room I was originally in. Or that was originally open. And there's nothing in the second room. Can I open you now? I sure can. Whoa. Creepy. Uh huh. Third time's the charm. Look at that. Pick up the hotline. What that sign say? That's the sign that was there before, I believe. Hi, I would like to uh, complain about the hotel bell not telling me it opens doors. The hotline is a transmitter. Directors can call the board long distance. Complete the astral plane challenge. Okay. More fun than getting lost in a motel. With. Uh, what is that? Creepy things? The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities, including weird ones that do that. Apparently not dying either. How do I get around it? Ooh, I thought I was gonna die. Does it move? Oh, it moves. I'm out. Nope. Gotta pick them feet up. Before extra, extra dimensional fluffies get you. I hear the phone ringing. And I think I'm in, I'm in good. Oof, I always think I'm going to miss that jump. Well done, dialed director. You can contact us in the hotline collectors. Okay. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Ooh, interesting. Creepy phone. Hello? A director needs a team. My management team. Oh, I thought you'd be like the Avengers or something. The Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person who should fail is yourself. Spoken like a, change when you become like a poet. Goodbye. Well, Darling's missing, and Tomasi is uh, pissed now. So, there goes half your team, sir. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an 
echo an echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Well, cool guys. We made it to the hotline. Oh. Strongly when I tell them about you. Okay. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Okay, if Jess is done talking to herself, we're going to call it there for part one of the control playthrough. We found Hotline, Object of Power, after struggling with the, the door with the black pyramid on it. Um, yeah, I'll be uploading more soon. And we'll see uh, what kind of adventures Jess takes us on. So stay tuned for part two. I'll get that recorded sometime soon. And until then, thanks for tuning in. Um, for any reason, if the game music or sound was too loud, or if my mic for any reason is picking up too low, let me know and I'll make adjustments as I go. So appreciate your time. Until then, peace.